Bye bye. I think I won't need you anymore. Ooh, that went terribly wrong. Don't throw your stuff around like I just did. Nah, I'm just joking. I will still need that gimbal. Uh, yeah, I wish you all a happy new year, folks. I hope that you had a nice Christmas and I hope that... Do you say that in English? I don't know. In Germany, we say gut ins neue Jahr gerutscht, like slid into the new year. I don't know if you say it in English. Welcome yet to another video on my channel. I'm Ramin from RA Conception. I'm specialized in automotive videos and music videos. And today we will be talking about something life changing for you guys. Lately, I caught myself not using my gimbal as much as I used to. This might be because I've upgraded from my old Canon ESRP to a yeah Sony A7S III and that image stabilization paired with G Master 24 to 70 millimeter is just crazy. This is incredible. Well and like you guys I love to shoot smooth footage. I don't like to carry around that heavy gimbal all the time. Which leads me to film more and more handheld. Especially on the racetrack it gets annoying when you always have to get out the gimbal to shoot because sometimes well action might be already over. And I know that there are a few ways to get smooth handheld footage like the ninja walk using your camera belt around your neck and i know that it can be really really helpful to shoot in higher frame rates like 50 frames per second 100 frames per second for the american guys it's 60 frames per second or 120 frames per second why is shooting in higher frame rates a great way to get smooth looking footage it's because you can slow it down in post production producing the speed of the clip to get some slow motion will also reduce your camera shakes obviously or you can use things like the warp stabilizer you can even combine that but use the warp stabilizer before you're using slow motion because those things don't work together to achieve that you will have to nest the sequence and then use your slow motion effect but here comes a mind-blowing tool programs like catalyst browse those programs are absolutely crazy they stabilize your footage by using the gyro data which cameras can also record and i'm talking about cameras like the a7s3 i don't know if the a7 3 has it but i think yes the a7 IV GoPro, I know a lot of you guys still record or are recording on GoPros. They use gyro data as well. And this program can be an incredible way to get some smooth looking footage. This footage we are looking right now is handheld. It's shaky and well, after I've run it through Catalyst Browse, I mean, it's smooth. It's buttery, smooth and delicious. Well. Here comes the down thing. The, the A7S III does not support gyro data when you film in 100 frames per second. Or I think it doesn't do that. I'm not pretty sure, but well, on my recordings where I have some footage in 100 frames per second, I'm not able to use that stabilization program. Well, for 50 frames per second, there's no problem. And as you can see, it is really, really smooth looking footage. The only thing that you can do is the minimum crop. Actually, the program decides how much the footage will be cropped in. This is something the warp stabilizer does as well. Most of the time, the footage still looks good. Here comes the good thing. You won't have those strange effects you sometimes get with warp stabilizer. They really can ruin things especially when you are a car videographer 
and you're making car videos like I do, um, they can really lead to some strange effects, which you really don't want to have. One thing that really annoys me while using Catalyst browsers is that when you're trying to preview your footage, it doesn't really run smooth and you can't really have a look at the footage that you have just stabilized. <sighs> Please Sony fix that. That's really, really annoying. And I would love to see how the footage turned out before exporting. And here comes the next downy. The problem is that you have to adjust clip by clip. That means that when you have multiple clips that you want to stabilize, you will have to use the stabilize function and export the clip. After you've done the first clip, you are able to do the second clip, which really, really is time consuming. The last time I was using that program for a few things, well, it took too long. That really got on my nerves. So I just switched to the warp stabilizer because I can use speed ramps to cover those strange effects. But well, you will get in situations where you won't be able to use speed ramps. If you don't know how to use speed ramps or how speed ramps work, take a look at this video. I can show you how you can do speed ramps even with 25 frames per second. All in all, I think that, well, we will still need gimbals, but not as much as we were used to. As you know, there are certain ways that you can get some smooth footage, even handheld. And I think those programs like Catalyst Browse are just crazy and are making things a lot easier if you don't want to use your gimbal all the time. And I think handheld shots sometimes can add to the atmosphere and can really look beautiful. Well, but if you still want to have some nice looking footage and you want to shoot handheld, try to use programs like Catalyst Browse because they will do their job if your camera is able to write some gyro data. There are ways that you can put your GoPro on top of your camera to get the gyro data from the GoPro and to combine it with your main camera. So don't be discouraged if you don't have a A7S III or FX3 or in that price range of cameras, even with your old EOS RP or EOS R or other cameras who are not able to record gyro data, you can trick around a little bit by using another software than Catalyst Browse, like GyroFlow, and you can combine your GoPro gyro data with your normal footage. This program will make things a lot easier, but please Sony fix those little issues. I would like to have a look how the footage looks um, stabilized and I would like to I would like to stabilize more clips and render them all together. That would be really, really helpful. Select all the clips that I wanted to have, stabilize them all and just export them all at once. So I don't have to switch back and forth. So I can run that program while shooting or something else while planning the next YouTube video. I hope that you like that little talk about how things will be changing in future. I think that in future gyro stabilization will be a big part. You won't have to carry around that heavy gimbal anymore um, to get some smooth looking footage. And I think this is a big thumbs up for that program or for programs like Catalyst Browse. Um, I think that Catalyst Browse just, yeah, needs some updates by Sony, but all in all, I think this is a really, really good program and even combined with a gimbal and Catalyst Browse because, well, when you're filming cars and you're shooting in that POV mode, you will sometimes need to stabilize your footage as well to get it even more smooth. And I think that this is the point where Catalyst Browse comes in handy and just takes your 
gimbal footage or your awesome gimbal footage to the next level. And I really hope that you liked this video and I really hope that you like the information that I just shared with you. Maybe this will be life changing for you guys. Well, for me, it was kind of life changing because I will use this program more and more over the time um, because, well, I love to shoot handheld to get those cinema look sometimes because well, I don't think that smooth footage is that much of an aspect as most people think to make something cinematic because I think handheld footage can add to the atmosphere like I said in the beginning. And if you want to know more about how you can make your videos look more cinematic with zero budget, you should check out this video. If you want to stay tuned, just leave a subscription. I would really appreciate it. And I would like to know down in the comments about what we should be talking about more and more in future and what, 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 what you would like to see on my channel more and more.